energy from which peacecraft welcome to my loyal subscribers welcome back i hope you enjoy this video and to those new subscribers i hope you enjoy the content of this video you stick around and go back and watch some of my old videos so let's get started this particular video is about getting my yarn stock or stash down I've spoken about it in previous videos. It's something I started this year. I decided I would track the yarn I use from my stash or stock, depending on what you want to call it, and see how much I use. So I'm going to give you some results for the first quarter, and then I'll show you some acquisitions which go against that that I've just arrived this week that I've purchased. So the whole idea was from, um, I've written it down, Queen's Crafts by Bridget. If you don't know her channel, there'll be a link in the description below. Please check her out. She started the hashtag Stashdown2024. And for me, I thought, well, that's a great thing. I'll help track my stash. But I do it in grams because a lot of my scrap balls, which I have a lot of, don't have metrage on and I can't work that out. So I just weigh the grams. So for me, a scrap ball is anything less than 50 grams. Anything over that becomes like a ball or a skein of yarn. So it's broken down, my stash down. Basically, I have scrap yarn I've used, normal skeins and gifts of kindness that people have given me. And these are the results for the first quarter, January to March. So... So far in scrap yarn, I have used 2,376 grams. Yes, I have been making little busy bee type amigurumis, monsters, pocket friends, using up my scraps. And they generally take less than 50 grams. Some of them only weigh like 15 grams. The balls of yarn I have used, where I've used actual skeins or small balls, is 1047 grams and gifts of love which is yarn that people have given me that I've used in a set project I used 700 grams so the total quarter I used 4123 grams I know I, I went off to a flying start in January and I've sort of faded in February and March not as much but I'm still impressed with 4,123 grams of yarn used from my stock or stash, as you, however you want to call it. Now, what goes against that is purchasing yarn. Now, it wasn't that I wasn't going to purchase yarn. I was just going to buy differently this year. I'm buying yarn that I want for a set project that I don't have or as a gift. Gift yarn won't be included in this. This week, I received an acquisition from Wool Warehouse. Yes, I raided Wool Warehouse. I like some of the yarn that they carry that's difficult to get here, and one in particular for a project that I am planning to do for our big craft fair in July. Now, the reason I like Wool Warehouse also is the postage is great value. So I'll get through that. So we're going to have noise, background noise, aeroplanes, my neighbour working on his boat, that sort of thing. We have a beautiful sunny day, lots of people outside because we've had rain and rain and rain and so it's really nice to have a sunny day. Anyway, we'll have warehouse. Postage. For me, there would have been, oh, I didn't total it up, but I think over two maybe three kilos of yarn that I have purchased and in total because I've done the exchange rate that only cost me $30.70 to have it sent from the UK so if you compare that with I sent a parcel this week to the USA that weighed 600 grams and that cost me $39 Australian so Wool Warehouse have some real value delivery charges coming to Australia and a great variety of yarn and that's why I rated Wool Warehouse. Do you want to see what I got? So the other thing I like is they come in these organza bags. You can if you wish not to have the organza bags but I love them. So 
as you can see, I'll take these two out first. In here is all Stylecraft Special DK in this. The yellow is bagged up, but I know it's called Sunshine Yellow because I can see it or sunshine on the back of the label. I don't want to take it out of the parcels if you can see that. So it's Special DK. There is 10 of those in Sunshine. All this yarn is for one set project that if I finish it in time will be entered into our craft show. The other colour is Matador Red. That's a beautiful bright red. And then there's white. So these were the three colours I need for this project and it is a knitting project. That's why I say if I get it finished in time. So that was the first thing I bought. I can't help not look at their clearance yarn and I saw this James Brett Dotty double knitting really soft. The Stylecraft yarn is lovely and soft and I really like working with it for big projects. This James Brett Dotty 50 gram walls, two of it in this spotty colour, really soft. So the Dotty was 572 a ball on special. But I did want to try it and it is pretty much I bought all acrylic. Yeah, not a lot of information on their labels. Colour is just a number and a die lot. 95 metres or 103 yards and it's cotton and acrylic. That's what I, I wanted it for an Amigurumi project. So it's cotton and acrylic. The Stylecraft was $4.51 a ball. Now we have Marvel 8 ply, but there's nowhere near as soft as Stylecraft Special DK. They're pretty comparable in price and they have a much better colour range. When you want to make a set project to look a certain way, you can't beat Stylecraft DK. Now, these are the bags that came in. I took them out. I forgot this was in here. I bought some accessories. I still have another bag of yarn to show you. I find it difficult here, I'm trapped in a lot of cardboard, to get the DPNs I like, and I like bamboo or wooden DPNs. And often I can't get the size I want. So I've decided they're clover DPNs, 16 centimeter, and I'm building up my stock on the sizes. So I've got three millimeter, and a 2.75 millimeter knitting needle DPNs. I like the shorter ones and I like bamboo and they did have those sizes. When it arrived, I already realized there was another size I would have liked. Now they were $12.28, which is comparable to what I would pay here. So they were some accessories I bought. Excuse me a minute. Then I have another bag of yarn. Ta-da! So this is King Cole Splash Double Knitting Yarn. It's lovely and soft. It's 100% acrylic. King Cole Skipton, made in Turkey for King Cole Skipton. 290 metres, 320 yards, 100% acrylic. This is Candy Floss. Ta-da! I bought one of those. This, um, I don't know, I'm hoping it's brighter further in. It's a little duller than I would have liked. This is apricot. And this is, ta -da, this is lovely and bright. What one is this one? This is rose hue. These three, I'm thinking of making two defunts with. I've made one before. This is the yarn she recommended. I made them in a different yarn. And because I was buying from Wool Warehouse and these were a good price, I thought, well, I'll get the actual yarn and maybe make some more. So the King Cole Splash is $7.09 a ball. Probably a little bit more expensive than what I used before, but it's much softer and looks really pretty with all the colours. But I do plan to make another Tudorfin. I may give one away for a Tudorfin. Who knows? I'll put a link to the Tudorfin pattern below. Um, my first one turned out really well, reasonably well. I'm hoping I get a better result with this yarn. 
So, of course, I bought Red Heart Super Saver because I do like it and it's difficult to get here. I bought it in my logo colours because, like I said before, this is probably a bit brighter purple than I wanted. There is different purples. This is Amethyst. This is Saffron. I'm going to make some things in my logo colours to put on my future market stalls. Um, part of the branding recommendation is have some things that recommend your branding colours. So I bought two of those. And for no particular reason, this was just an impulse buy because I love the colour. I bought some pink. And I think this would have to be Ta -da! shocking pink. So they were the last bits of yarn. I bought from Wool Warehouse. So I'll just put that all there on that table, little table. So in total, my purchases for yarn, and I have purchased a couple of other things for particular projects. In that quarter, I have purchased 2,494 grams of yarn. And when I deduct that away from my stash down, I'm still... 1629 grams down in my stash so i've actually reduced it um hopefully next month i'll do a lot better but yes i know um queen's crafts bridget has a playlist of stash down you can check out what other people have done but i highly recommend it even if you're a subscriber just for a month or so tracking what yarn you buy and what yarn you actually use that you had before and the idea for me is not to impulse buy too much. I have a huge yarn stock and a lot of it is just impulse buying because it was on special, especially during COVID. And now it's time to use it. So guys, I hope you like my yarn. I'll come back when I use some of it and show you what it went into. But there are planned projects for most of this yarn. Now, in summary... Thank you to those subscribers who went back and watched some of my old videos to give me watch time. I couldn't believe that I actually started the year with a figure, did like three to four videos a month, only turned up at the end of March with like 500 hours of less watch time than I started the year. Go figure that out. But I do appreciate it, those that went back and watched some of my old videos just to give me watch time because I feel like I'm going to disappear off YouTube our algorithms if it keeps dropping like it is. It's dropping like a stone. It dropped again last night for no unknown reason. Anyway, if you do have time and you missed out on some of my old videos, please go back and check them out. Get my watch time back, my watch hours back. And I have playlists, so if there's a particular subject or thing that you're interested in, check out my playlist. I'd really appreciate it. I don't want to disappear off YouTube algorithms. It would make all the years of hard work really unfruitful and very depressing. <laughs> anyway, on a brighter note, this week coming is Reeves's birthday, my son. It's a big one for him. It's uh, And we are doing some things. So I don't know if I'll have a lot of crafting projects to show you this week. And at the end of the week is, of course, the craft market that I have been talking about forever. It happens next Sunday and hopefully I'll be able to report back that had lots of sales. Until next time, stay safe, stay well and I highly recommend you start doing Stash Down 2024 or as Mad Mimi and Jan the Alaskan Crafter would stay, say, use your stash before you spend your cash. Bye for now.